Hey guys, I am packing for Disney and I thought I would take you along on the process. I told you guys in my last video that I was going to be doing a pack with me for Disney. And it's a little overwhelming because I'm packing for myself, Addie, and the two little boys. So four of us, we are going for a total of 10 days and we, we don't always have like concrete plans. Um, I don't want to say like we wing it, but we have hopper passes. So we plan to do like, you know, a park each day. Sometimes it's two parks. Sometimes we go early and then do pool the rest of the day. Sometimes we do relax pool and then go magic hours at night. So, but the point is I packed seven park outfits for each of us. I'm not going to show you Addie's because I just have hers is all in her room. Um, I think we might do a reel on Instagram of her and I and our outfits, but I, I'm going to show you how I pack the boys and mine. I'm going to show you each of my outfits. I did some Disney bounding outfits. Basically you like, it's character inspired. You don't look like the character, but you like color and theme wise, super fun. So I, I did something a little bit different now and I feel like I need to explain this because <laughs> If you've never been to Disney or like seen it for yourself, I feel like anybody that sees me planning Disney outfits are like, have you lost your mind? But I promise you when I tell you that these outfits are like nothing <laughs> compared to how some people dress and what they wear in the parks. Like some of them go, they commit and they go all out. I like to be comfortable we go in the summer, so it is hot as you know what. And we go on rides, we get wet on rides. And so I'm not trying to like, I wanna look cute, but I wanna be practical. Do you know what I mean? And I'm thinking of my kids, think of the kids the same way. They have to be comfortable. I'm using packing cubes again. It's the only way I pack. And so I'm packing like seven park outfits and then we go out to dinner pretty much every night. So I have like night outfits, bathing suits, all the things. I'm going to show you each of my Disney bounding, a Disney bound outfits. And then um, I'll show you some of the boys outfits. I'll link everything in the description box, just like I did for my last pack with me. It does take time, but I know you guys appreciate it. And I know if I'm watching a video, I like having the links at my fingers so I could be like, oh, I like that shirt or I want that, those ears. And I know a lot of you guys um, plan and then go to Disney too. So I hope that this helps you in just gathering some inspo, maybe some cute ears you can find, accessories, whatever. Um, and then also I am going to put together a couple collage posts in my like to know it, which will also have all of this stuff linked. So whether you're on YouTube or your phone or in the app or the like to know it app, and have access to everything and where everything is from. Nothing is crazy expensive. Most of the stuff is from Target, Amazon. I kept it really simple. So with that being said, let's get into it. I'm gonna do the boys first because it's easy because I have, I gave them each a packing cube and I use the Stony Clover Disney ones. I will link them below. I'm not sure if they're sold out or not. Addie has the Disney princess ones and the boys have the Mickey and friends. So. For Animal Kingdom, I got all of these Cat and Jack shorts at Target. They were $5, but when I got them, they were even less. They were on sale. Um, so I'm just showing you one of theirs because they all, Bentley and Leo, have the same outfits. So these are, this is going to be for Animal Kingdom. It's a cute little Simba. It says Legacy. And how I do it is I kind of like roll the shorts within the t-shirt, and then that's how I pack that way. I have a little Winnie the Pooh outfit and I like to match with my kids. If you're new here, hi, I'm the crazy Disney mom and I like us all to have matching outfits. So I did Tigger for, um, I think this is Bentley's. And then this is just a cute little blue set. This is another park outfit. Actually, this is Leo's. Found this shirt in Target. Old Navy Kohl's has the best Disney stuff. I have to still grab a pair of black sweatshorts for this. For Hollywood Studios one day, this is a set that came from Target, has Woody on it. Uh, we love Toy Story Land and Toy Story Mania is like, I know Louie's favorite ride and him and Dan always try to beat each other. And then of course, can't go to Disney without some kind of Star Wars. I actually think we did these shirts last year too for them, they're, they're still available. So just really easy sets for the boys that they're gonna be comfortable. And 
somewhat cool. And then I'm not gonna take the time to show you me rolling, but I wanna show you how much room. And then this is another um, Baby Yoda set that I did for both of them. I don't have all of their like nighttime dinner outfits set yet and for good reason. So we always go to Disney Springs like the first or second night that we're there and there they have a Zara. Zara is one of my favorite places to get the kids clothes but I don't have one close by and I could have placed an online order but I think I'm just gonna go when I'm there. Less stuff I have to pack in the suitcase and just grab their basics, tees and shorts. But I wanna show you how this is because you can see just how much more room I have. This is like park outfits. And then I still have to add the shorts here. But you can like squeeze and stretch this out, do like multiple layers. So that is why I love the packing cubes. I'm gonna show you a couple other sets that I found for Leo, including this little tank set. And this is a cute little, I love the light colored clothes, even though it's not always easy to do. This is like a little tie-dye Mickey, little blue shorts. So that is, that I also have two we're doing in honor of the Johnny Depp trial and him finally getting justice. I'm not a Johnny Depp fan, I just have to say. I have never even seen a Pirates movie, but we, I love a good excuse to dress up and be character inspired. So in honor of him winning his case, we're gonna do a whole Jack Sparrow Disney bound outfit. So I have most of that stuff coming from Amazon. I got Dan and Louie and the two boys Pirates tees and then I got Addie the cutest set and I'll show you the one that I have to match so that is not in here yet I did want to show you I found this on Amazon Bentley's gonna wear this with his pirate outfit <laughs> I initially bought this for myself for my pirate outfit but then I did something else and Benny saw this so he's like oh I want that so this I found on Amazon I'll link it so Bentley's packing cube is pretty much the same I haven't rolled anything yet because I was just in the stage of like laying everything out. The packing cubes, I think there were seven in the set. This is like just a little envelope pouch and in here I have all their socks. So socks are all in here. Picking up Benny's and I wanted to show you. So I got him the, I got Leo the Tigger shirt. Benny's gonna wear Eeyore. And I'm gonna be a little, and then I got Addy a Winnie the Pooh shirt. These shirts came in a three pack from Target. I think it was Eeyore, Pooh, and Tigger. Then I have another packing cube that came in this set and I have all of the boys and I purposely did this because I wanted to show you just why I love these packing cubes. All of their bathing suits. I think I packed four bathing suits each but I just want to show you like without rolling and I just like literally just shoved everything in here. You can really squish and squeeze and get a ton in here. Um, also, I wanted to show you these shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them, but I got all of us, when I say all of us, the little kids and me, matching shoes. These are by Adidas. They're Bentleys. I'll link them below. And then these are Leos. They're two little Velcro. Um, they're super cute. You see Mickey. So I pack really light for shoes when it comes to Disney. I do a pair of sneakers, a pair of the Disney Crocs or like a water shoe, and then usually just like a pool shoe. And we keep it really simple and we can use those for the parks or for outfits at night. I think in here I also have one of these. I have Benny's undies too. I don't know which one they're in. They're in one of these. I packed them today. Yeah, they're in the bottom of this one. I was just second guessing myself. Okay, so that is it, and I'm gonna be putting the rest of Bentley's like nighttime dinner outfits. They're each gonna be in their own packing cube. Just makes it really easy. Then when you get to the hotel, you can literally just take, I don't like putting any of their, I don't have to put any of their stuff in the drawers. I literally just take the packing cube out of my suitcase, put it in the drawer, and then each day I just hand them the, the outfit to wear and I keep them both the same, so it just keeps things really simple. We keep one big, we bring like one big laundry bag and all of our dirty clothes goes in there. We usually have like one suitcase with all the dirty clothes on the way back. And that way it just keeps everything organized. It's really easy to pack when it's time to go and obviously really easy to unpack. So packing cubes are life. If you're new here, I have an obsession with them, but because for years I never used them and now I just, don't know how I ever packed anything without them. So packing cubes, roll up your stuff and get organized. 
So that's it for the boys. And then I also wanted to show these. I let Bentley and Addie each pick from Stony Clover one of these little clear pouches. These are inexpensive. They're like $30 when I say inexpensive compared to like Stony Clover in general. So um, I, I bought each of them one in the color that they wanted and then I let them each pick one patch and in here the characters like the whole character experience is back at Disney meaning you can now hug them meet them get their autographs and so I bought each of them one for their autograph book a pen and their little lanyards they collect pins and pins so they're each gonna have one of these and then I'll show you what is gonna like how I'm gonna do that and then these will go underneath the stroller okay let me go on to Hey guys, we are back. It's the next day. I went and got my Disney nails with Addie. There they are. Simple, but festive. And now we are going to show you my outfits and what I packed. I'll show you, obviously, my Disney bound outfits and just my thought process. So again, I had to pack like seven park outfits, dinner outfits, all the things. So in my largest packing cube, and I don't know like, what days I'm wearing what things, but I'm gonna just show you. I always overpack for Disney because like I said, it's just, it's always a toss up with what we're doing. But I found this red romper at Target and I initially bought it, I thought it'd be really cute for like Memorial Day or the 4th of July and I never ended up wearing it for Memorial Day. So I got this either to wear by the pool, I could wear it to the park or just to have. And then I bought these pair of red bike shorts. They have these right now in every color. I just grabbed red for Disney. I think they were like five or eight dollars and I just bought them just as an extra added. I am bringing three Abercrombie traveler dresses. This one has the pleated skirt and it's really cute. And what I love about the traveler dresses, which I showed you in my last pack with me, but I don't think I was able to say it. They have bike shorts underneath. So I'm bringing this white one. I'm wearing the black one down on the plane. It's just a plain like athletic dress. And again, it has the bike shorts, which is, I think these are so great for an amusement park because if you go, if you're on a roller coaster and you go upside down, you have bike shorts on, nothing's hanging out. And then I also picked up the one shoulder traveler dress from Abercrombie. These also have the, this also has the bike shorts underneath. And so I have options. Now, getting into my Disney bound outfits, the outfits that are inspired by characters. And this was all Instagram's doing. I was doing a Target try on one day and I put on this like boxy crop tee with these ribbed bike shorts. And I had so many messages for people being like, it's Winnie the Pooh, like not in a bad way, but it'd be really cute. And I was like, oh my God. So then I took to Amazon and I found these cute little ears. So I thought this would be a cute little Disney bound outfit. It's casual, it's comfortable, it's lightweight. So that's one. I picked up these are the Free People Dupe workout shorts on Amazon. They come in tons of colors. I got the red ones and with those, I just planned, I just got this simple cotton black tube top from Target. It's stretchy, it's knit, it's lightweight. Um, I do have ears that are super old. I think I got these the first year I ever went to Disney. They always have them. They're just the classics. For Hollywood Studios, I got this Pizza Planet shirt. Dan has the same one. He wears it every year. Um, they are from Target and I got one for me. And then to go with that, I could do the red bike shorts. I also have these black ribbed bike shorts, the same ones that are like the peach ones I just showed you. This outfit I'm really excited about. This is my uh, Jack Sparrow honor of Johnny Depp outfit. I am just gonna do some jean cutoffs. These are last year Abercrombie mom shorts with this little tank. It's a crop tank from Amazon. This ties right here. Um, I'll show you, I'll insert a picture of the outfit I got for Addie to coordinate, but it's just a little cropped, croppy thing there. And then I got one of these bandanas and I'm just gonna tie this around my hair like that. One day, Addie and I will wear those in our hair. Um, oh, I haven't been showing you shoes. Well, I showed you like the mini shoes. I also got these that I have not worn yet. They're like platform, Steve Madden. They're very comfortable, so I'll wear these with the pirate outfit. 
And then for Animal Kingdom, I showed you guys the little um, legacy shirts that I got for the boys. Mama has the legend with Simba, just a plain yellow tee. And then I'm pairing that with a green cargo paper bag skirt. This is from Loft. I don't think they have it anymore, but I'll try to link one up similar. Then another um, Disney character inspired outfit. This is a little like tank bra top. I got this in a three pack from Amazon. This is the purple and these are the mint bike shorts. Can we guess the character? Does this give it away? Little Ariel action. Um, Addie has a, an Ariel fanny pack that I might steal from her. And then I did a little Olaf one. This is a tank crop from Target. I have it in green. They're like $5. Yeah, $5 from Wild Fable. I got it in the orange. I'm just going to wear some white cutoff shorts. And then how cute. This might be one of my favorite headbands. These I will link. I got so many of them. Some of them I don't even have yet to show you. But they have so many on Amazon. And they're like $10. They're very light. They're not heavy. And they have all different characters and all different like symbols of different Disney movies if you're looking for ears. These are great for kids too. Addie has a bunch of these. Those are like Disney outfits. Let me just show you the shoes that I'm taking. I'm really, I'm going to wear these, my Golden Goose on the plane. These will also be my Animal Kingdom sneaker with the cargo skirt. I showed you these. I have this packing cube again that came in super handy. It fits a ton of shoes. So I already have this kind of packed. These are the adult version of the shoes I told you that I got for the boys to match and then Addie's match mine. And then I'm bringing a couple pairs of flats, mostly for the pool. These are not available anymore. They were Goodnight Macaroon. I'm bringing my little Chloe slides. These are mostly for like outfits at nighttime. When we go out to dinner at night, I don't get crazy. I don't get dressed up. It's hot in Orlando in June, even at nine o'clock at night. So I don't go nuts with the fancy outfits. The only like fancier shoe I'm bringing is these because they will match everything and anything. They have a little bit of a heel. But to be honest with you, after you're walking around like 20,000 steps in the park all day, I just want to be in flats at night. So hence why I'm not bringing any other heels or fancy shoes. And then I also have these as a pool shoe. These are from Target. They're a flat, like rubberized, almost like Valentino lookalike. These are not supportive enough for the parks. So pretty much parks sneakers every day. I was going to bring my Crocs. I wore my Crocs last year, but I don't really have a, a use for them, any of my outfits, as silly as that sounds. So I'm probably not going to be bringing anything and I'm just going to be doing sneakers. As you get older, you get wiser and you realize like comfort is key, especially when you're trekking around in Disney World. Then for some outfits for nighttime, like I said, I try to keep it super casual. I'm bringing this black bodysuit that I have from Amazon, the legging one that I say. It's like the legging material. I have this in a bunch of colors. I have some black cutoffs. These are old from American Eagle. Another pair of denim cutoffs. I am bringing both sets. This needs to be steamed from L&M, the little short set. I have it in cream and in black. This is just a little tank from Express. Bodysuit can go with some cutoffs. This is a really cute bodysuit that I got on Amazon. It is ruffled. Oh no, this is not a bodysuit. Sorry, it's just a tank, but it tucks in and it's ruffled. I could do that with um, jean cutoffs. Another black tank top. This top's really cute. I haven't worn it yet. I got it from Target. It's like a floral croppy top. I could do this with jean shorts. This is a black romper. I don't know if it's still available. I bought this for Miami. I've only worn it once. It's really cute. It's got a little cutout on the side of that. And then this I ended up not wearing in Dominican Republic. I think I showed this to you guys. I didn't wear it. So I'm going to bring it and wear it to Disney. It's in my favorite cobalt blue. This comes in tons of colors on Amazon. It is a great summer basic layering. Not like, well, you could layer it. You could layer it obviously under a denim jacket or a blazer, the sides are cut out and it's just ribbed and it's long and it has a slit going up the side leg. So I did that and then just because I, 
love this top so much. I wore this in Dominican with some bright orange trousers and I got so many compliments like in person and online and I, I just love it. It's such a fun top and I thought it would be fun to just wear this with jean shorts. Just like super casual. There is a Cuban restaurant. It's Gloria Stefan's restaurant that has like live and music and dancing and I thought that would be a really cute. We go there every year, sometimes twice when we're down there and I thought that top would be just really cute for that kind of vibe at the restaurant. And then third packing cube. This one has my bathing suits and I'm just bringing um, this cover up from Cup She. It's beautiful, white and long and flowy. I'm also bringing this gauzy like open button down from Target. It's a free people dupe. And then I'm bringing the same bathing suits I brought to Dominican, this bronzy one this like shimmery mocha from Abercrombie. Ordered a few more from Amazon and I have three Amazon packages here so let's see if it's in one of them. This one I'm really excited about. I thought this was so cute. I feel like I always do some kind of like polka dot bikini for Disney, like red polka dot just to represent my gal mini. So this is the top. It has a little tie here that came untied. It's a full coverage high-waisted bikini. That one definitely will go in here. And then I also brought this one, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in here. So that is bathing suits. And I'll have everything linked that I can find that's available. And then one more packing cube. And this is all of my like accessories, purses. And I think this is what a lot of people have been asking to see like what we keep under the stroller. So this is a crossbody from Stella Dot that is old, it's retired, but I will wear this for Animal Kingdom. We have a stroller and we pretty much keep like use the stroller as our catch-all but i always like having a crossbody on me for my stuff for my wallet if i need to buy something i need to buy something if i want to buy something hand sanitizer my face fan sunscreen to reapply lip gloss i always like to have that on me especially when we go on rides because a lot of times when we're in line is when we'll i'll reapply sunscreen to the kids or we'll sanitize need the sanitizer for our hands so as much as I love being able to like throw this under the, the um, stroller if I wanted to, I do like keeping something small on me just for the essentials. This is a little Stony Clover pouch that I don't know what will go in here yet, but something. Sunscreen, hand sanitizer, overflow, maybe band-aids, like things like that. These are little Disney fans. I always carry these. I use, usually bring my makeup one. But when I saw these on Amazon, oh, this one's dead. When I saw these on Amazon, I had to get them. They change colors. They're little Mickey, shape of Mickey. And they're like the USB rechargeable ones, which I love because we recharge them every night after we get home from the park. And it has different speeds. It's great to set your makeup, but just to cool you down. I usually keep a face spray on me too for me and the kids and then I'll face spray and then use the fan. I am bringing one little card case. This is the Gucci one that they did a collab with Disney. I actually ordered this through an essay at an outlet and I'm just gonna have my cards in here. You get center, two slots here and then two more in the back. So you can roll up some cash, but this is the only thing I'm taking for like my cards, my license, and this will go in my crossbodies. These are little wet bags that I got for the kids' bathing suits. I found these on Zulily. And then I got some fannies here. I have a Snow White one from Stony Clover. And then I have this. This one was the Target Stony Clover white fanny. You can do that with my Olaf outfit. Did this red one with my initial. Like I said, Addie has the Ariel. And I'm bringing this black one that I designed from Stony Clover with my initial mini and the bow. Let me go get you my makeup bag and I'll run through that. I'm not bringing half the makeup that I packed when we went to Dominican. I'm going for double the amount of time taking way less products because like I said, it's, it's Disney, it's hot. I'm not doing my friend's makeup that I need to travel with and quite frankly, I don't wear a lot of makeup when I'm in the parks and then by the time we come back, shower and go out at night, only to go out for a couple hours, I'm not trying to like go full glam so let me get that and i'll be back then we got this stony clover large pouch i did the letters that spell out magic in the pearl this thing is huge this was the i have this in black and i took that to dominican um 
this can fit your ears so the plan well I'll tell you but in here is all of my toiletries I have my powder I will also have my bottle of perfume laying right on top and then in here I have one of these clear pouches that I have been using now for years from Amazon this has the few brushes that I'm taking a dry shampoo my color wow heat protectant spray a little banana clip hair ties silk scrunchie q-tips and little like spoolie for my lashes and eyebrows. That's in that one. This other one has all of my skincare. So my travel uh, vitamin C, the discovery set, my peel pads, that comes in one. I'm bringing Honeymoon Glow and Honey Halo. Lip mask, body butter, powder puff. I'm bringing a detox charcoal mask from Colleen Rothschild just from all the sunscreen and sweat. It's so good to do that. Um, a lot throughout the summer, but in Disney especially. And Beauty Blender Sponge is in this one. And then I did the smaller one in also spelling out Dream in the pearls, but pink. And this has my makeup. So as you can see, I downsized quite a bit. So I have my IntelliShade, which is my tinted sunscreen, and my Avene Compact. This is pretty much all I will be wearing during the day in the parks. I have my brow glue. Um, my Dior concealer and I'm bringing a new Tarte corrector because I will probably go through this entire thing in 10 days I don't want to bring one that's half used because I'll run out of it And this is the one thing I don't want to run out of I'm also bringing my Ulta corrector just in case I run out The tinted or it's like brightening under eye. This also has sunscreen in it, it brightens deep puffs and um, has the metal applicator like very cooling. So this is usually like what I do in the morning when I wake up, just for some sunscreen. And then this also has sunscreen. This is a cream compact. I'm supposed to have two more delivered today. I hope it makes it. But I just put this on with a sponge and it's just extra SPF and it gives you a little bit of coverage too. Face spray to set sunscreen makeup. I'm bringing the big one because it's 10 days. I'm bringing two cream blushes. These are the only blushes. NARS Torrid and Rare Beauty. I wish this wasn't so big, but I really like the color. And then this is the shade Love. The only cream bronzer I'm bringing is the Radiance Drops from Cover FX, although I just tried the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer today and I really liked it, so I might end up bringing that too. I am bringing an eye primer because I'm bringing the only two cream shadows I'm bringing or is this new one from Charlotte Tilbury that I also shared and showed on Instagram today. It's called Walk of Shame. It's pretty similar in color to the Nearly Neutral. If I want to do makeup at all or just do something at night when we go out, but it's hot and it's sweaty, so I'm definitely bringing a primer. This is my Summer Bisque Concealer that I use. Sometimes I use to set my concealer. Sometimes I use this without cream concealer. It's enough coverage. It also has SPF, so that will go under my eyes. And then I am going to bring the CC Cream. I started wearing it again this week. It has SPF 50, but I'm bringing this in case I A, need more full coverage during the day, or if I'm doing makeup for nighttime and I just want to have a little bit more full coverage because I'm not really bringing a foundation. So that will be what I wear at night if I want. And that is it. So back to the stroller. When we get there, this is going to go underneath the stroller. And this is going to have both of the kids' little pouches with their autograph books, pens, and pin lanyards and pins will go under here. I'll probably stick one of the face fans in there. The other face fan will be on me at all times. Big thing of sunscreen. I do keep a little one on me, but a big thing of sunscreen. Snacks. We throw bottles of water underneath the stroller. Liquid IVs will go under here, and this will just go right under the stroller. It keeps the underneath undercarriage of the stroller organized, aside from all of the water, and everything is just in here, and then nothing gets lost. Oh, and I didn't show you. I'm also bringing two baseball caps. Melasma really comes out. I know it's going to get so much worse, but I just suck it up because I love wearing the ears. I will give my face a break two days, and I'm bringing two baseball caps. So these will be in my suitcase as well. And that's a wrap. Now I need to go edit this down. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm hoping if uh, we have time tomorrow. Addie and I can put together a little outfit reel of the outfits so you can actually see them on. 
But thank you guys for watching this video. I will have links to everything below. If you have any other questions, let me know. I do plan on doing a sit down with Dan. Maybe, I don't want to promise, but maybe the following Friday after we get back of just like an a recap because I know so many things have changed, especially since we've been there. The last time we were there was October and there was no lightning lane. There was no genie, any of that. So I am a little nervous about all the changes, but you guys know we will be very honest about our experience, pros and cons of the new system and all of that. So if you guys have like Disney specific questions, leave them in the description box below. I'll answer whatever I can. And if I can't or don't know the answer, Dan is like the Disney guru. I'll either ask him for the answer or we'll put it in that video for when we get back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will not be a video <clears throat> next Friday. Hold on, let me just see. This video will go up Friday the 17th. There will not be a video the 24th because we'll still be away. So the next video will be July 1st. And that is the one that I plan to do with Dan a recap. So if you have questions for that video, leave them here. But thank you guys for watching. I will miss you. Follow us along on Instagram. We like to pretty much vlog the whole thing. And if you want to see any of our past Disney trips, I do have lots of Disney highlights on my Instagram. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys are all well. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.